Hey guys, Hans Rumpel here with Exocyte. Hey, I wanted to tell you about a cool new project that we have with the Texas Instruments CC3000 Wi-Fi solution. What we've done is we've taken this board here, put our cloud-enabled software down onto the low-cost and really low-power MSP430 microcontroller. That software talks up through the CC3000 Wi-Fi module into the cloud using Exocyte. You can buy this whole solution, Wi-Fi module and dev kit, for less than $100 through distribution or through the TIE store. Once you have the kit, you can go online to ti.exosite.com and register the kit and begin interacting with the kit or kits uh, right away. Now you can do things like turn your LEDs on and off, uh, log data, do analysis on the data, aggregate the data, create different dashboards for you and your friends to view, and uh, you can begin doing all that. And it's really a great way to begin prototyping your own Internet of Things or cloud-connected device idea right away. Check it out. Let's get started by signing up for an account. Our marketing website has an MSP430 plus CC3000 project that has links to things like source code, forums, quick start guide, etc. And we're going to go out directly to the portal website so we can begin interacting with our kit right away. We'll sign up for the free account. The free account is, uh, is fully featured. It's not time trialed, etc. There are some things like SMS text or if you want to add a lot of devices that you do have to enter a billing profile for. But other than that, it can do everything that any other account can do. All accounts can do things like create new sources of data, do processing on that data, create visualizations for the data, put those visualizations in a dashboard that can be shared privately with other users or shared publicly, and uh, things like that. So let's go ahead and create our account and get started. When we create an account, the system will send us an email just to verify we are who we say we are. And in that email, we'll have an activation link that you need to click. And once you click that activation link, uh, the system will go ahead and prepare all of the things that it needs to behind the scenes. And, uh, and once, once that's ready, you can go ahead and log in using the username and password uh, that you gave the system when you signed up. And this is a time-sensitive step. I think you need to do it within 24 hours of uh, first signing up. And once we're here, we see that we're on our home page. We have a manage menu on the left-hand side and a getting started guide where we can add a new device to our portal. So let's add the CC3000 smart config device and go ahead and type in the MAC address that you find on your device. And you can enter an optional device location so you can do things like create map widgets and, and, uh, and see some uh, um, location specific information. It'll show us a success screen. And we can go back home and now you'll note that we see the device listed in the device list over here. So no matter how many devices you add, we'll show always there in the device list so you can select it. And here we can see our data already coming into our kit. We can turn LEDs on and off and see analog to digital data, thermistor data, acceleration data, that sort of thing. So that's how easy and fast it is to get started. We hope you like it. Try it out and let us know what you think.